pointing a lacy finger to the heavens, the Eiffel Tower symbolizes all that is Paris, the city of light, center of culture and art, world fashion capital and hub of European social life. Paris is an all-encompassing city that offers something for every visitor. The great edifice was whirled on its completion in 1889 by Alexander Eiffel, Paris World's Fair, for it was the tallest structure in the world then. From the tower, Paris appears in all its splendor, bisected by the River Seine. Scores of bridges crisscross the river, connecting the left bank of artists and learning with the right bank of shops and fashions. The beatnik flourishes on the left bank that has nurtured many artists of note and been a haven for young lovers throughout the centuries. Patience is the bait when you fish the Seine. Paradoxically, the Pont Neuf, or New Bridge, is the oldest in Paris, connecting the Ile de la Cité with the mainland. The original settlement that grew to be Paris was on this island, a fishing village that was well established when the Romans conquered it in the fifth century. The Palais de Chaillot is a stunning example of modern French architecture and is one of the few buildings of consequence to be built in unchanging Paris since the First World War. From Chaillot, it is but a short way to the great Arc de Triomphe, Napoleon's monument to his triumphant armies. The tomb of France's unknown soldier is beneath the Arc placed in the most hallowed ground the nation could offer their anonymous hero. Here burns an eternal flame, burning bright in memory of all those who died to preserve France. A four-mile vista of magnificence, the Arc de Triomphe from the Arc Carousel, another monument to Napoleon's military triumphs. Twelve great avenues converge at the Great Etoile, or Star, at the Arc, including the Champs-Élysées, probably the most famous avenue in the world. What is more Parisian than her sidewalk cafes when Frenchmen sit and watch the world go by? World famed cafe shops to satisfy every whim, gardens and parks, all ingredients that make this the most popular promenade in the world. Parisians once drove with their horns, but substantial fines have ended that making the gendarme's job a little easier in the heavy traffic. The Place de la Concorde was once a favorite spot for a stroll, but today it's worth life and limb to brave the traffic and examine the statuary and fountains in the Concorde that remain unchanged since 1790. It's but a short distance and walking as fastest through the crowded streets to the great opera house, the largest theater building in the world, though it seats only 2,200. Facing the Concorde is the most fashionable church in Paris. St. Mary Magdalene, styled like a Greek temple, during its stormy history, it was first a church, then a Napoleon monument, and finally a church again. Also in the Greek tradition is the Pantheon, where many famous Frenchmen are buried, among them Voltaire, Zola, and Victor Hugo. The most famous museum in the world is the Louvre, with its fabulous treasures, such as Venus de Milo, the most popular piece of sculpture. The most popular painting, of course, is the Mona Lisa of Da Vinci. Potter Joan of Arc is honored with innumerable statues, the loveliest being outside the Louvre. Along the Seine River are the traditional bookstalls that cater to the browser in the shadow of majestic Notre Dame. In the very center of the city, the cathedral is surrounded by a backwash of serenity and peace. The majestic edifice is on an island, 
and stands out as one of the architectural gems of the ages. A monument to temporal power is Versailles, the most sumptuous court setting ever designed, built by Louis XIV for his 20,000 court followers. The central market is doomed to disappear as an efficient in modern times, thus ending a fascinating attraction for the visitor. All that Paris eats is funneled through the market, everything from prosaic foodstuffs to exotic rarities. Paris is the gourmet center of the world, and the buyers for exclusive restaurants are here in the pre-dawn hours to pick personally the foods that will grace their tables a few hours later. French cooking is considered high art. The Cordon Bleu chef considers himself a maestro blending a symphony of sauces. The Tour d'Argent is famed as much for its view as its food, for one looks out on Notre Dame and a vista of the island on which it stands. Surrounded by the cathedral's distinctive gargoyles, you have an intimate look at the heart of Paris with the Montmartre in the distance. The Church of the Sacred Heart in the center of the artist Montmartre colony was built by public subscription after the French defeat in the Franco-Prussian War. Its Byzantine domes have been painted time and again. The area has probably been the incubator of more artists than any other colony in the world. Any French painter you name probably worked and studied here. It's often said that the soul of Paris is in her art and paintings. There is no doubt that most of the world's artistic evaluation originates here, for art is the very life of Paris. A life that seems to take on new vigor as dusk falls and Parisians go on the town. Paris truly puts on her gown as the city of light, as she laughs and dances until dawn. Yes, Paris is a lady. A lady that has bewitched us all through the centuries.